action. Good morning, happy Sunday to everyone out there in the vinyl community. Cheers. Good old cup of coffee here. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a or you had a, or you're having a great weekend, excuse me. So good morning, like as I said. Again, I uh, want to thank everyone on a few of my last videos for the great comments. I always like those comments where someone says, you know, I've never listened to Pink Floyd or whoever, but I really enjoyed this video. I really appreciate a comment like that. You never know. You might make a fan of someone's music out there or not, but it's a very nice comment. All right, folks, I am back with another video that uh, I do apologize uh, to this great artist because it's a video I, sh I wanted to make a, a while back, but I wanted to spend a little bit more time uh, before I made this video. And I want to give a shout out and praise and a thank you. And, um, and that is one of the VC members, the music of Michael P. Dawson. I am a fan of his music. Um, I don't remember how I stumbled along his channel. Maybe somebody mentioned something about one of his videos. And so I went to go watch one of his videos and I am a fan of his channel. I love the way he talks about music. I love the way that uh, he presents it and the way he holds it and talks about all the things you may not know about it or the artists. And he also did a really great uh, videos on Gentle Giant. I've never seen Gentle Giant. He has. That was awesome. And um, then one day, I don't. I, one of his videos, he talked about he made music, and I got really, really curious because some of the things that he listens to, I'm a fan of. Prog, rock, classical. I love the way he talks about classical music. Let me stop there for a few minutes. If I could hang out with him and go record shopping, I would trust his recommendation for classical music. I would. Some of the records he shows, I try to find those. I don't really do too much eBay or Discogs. I get a little disappointed about the when the record comes, it's not in the best shape. That's just been my experience. And sometimes the CDs, but sometimes I just, you know, take a shot and order something. But yeah, I would like to go uh, classical record shopping or just record shopping, period. I'm sure that he would teach me a lot of things that I have an interest about uh, classical music, which I, I really do. I've heard classical music all my entire life. Uh, cartoons, movies, especially those old black and white movies. You know, when movies where people actually made music that fitted the scene that didn't happen too much now it's got to be something it's like what what does that song have to do with that oh anyway I don't want to get off into that another thing too I want to say about Mr. Dawson is I wish he could have been my music teacher really I, I, I really mean that because when I was taking music I took guitar I was in choir too and sometimes I didn't take see, take it seriously or stay focused. I mean, I play guitar. I'm not the greatest, but you know, every once in a while, I'll come up with something. And the reason why I would love to him have been my teacher in my life, he would have directed me in my music to where I wanted to be. I really trust that he would have done that because of this great music that I'm about to share that he has made on these albums that I have is the sort of thing that really interests me about music making those atmospheres those electronic sounds the synthesizer the guitar the woodwinds he's a multi instrumentalist and I would trust folks like him they know what they're doing they know what they're talking about and I take it that he is an avid reader too. He reads probably a lot of stuff too. 
But yeah, having him as a music teacher would have kept me focused. And I think he would have led me to the direction because when I got into music, I was all over the place. I have one of these minds that, like my daughter says, where if something doesn't interest me in a few seconds, I move on to something else. Or I break up a conversation and walk away. I've done that. I'm not trying to be rude, but there's something in me. But if I have an interest, then I'm hooked. And I think that he would hook me with a lot more interest in playing other instruments. And I play a little bit of drums and some. I do some stuff on the keyboards. But it, when I do stuff on the keyboards, I'm trying to create a sound. Not really trying to play some concerto or something like that. But anyway, I want to thank Michael P. Dawson for the music he made. And he sent me a VCLT, which I will show. So let's begin with an album that he released back in 2015, The Insect Garden. I highly recommend this. And he was very kind to sign it. This is a, a, this is a great album. He does a lot of different instruments, or plays a lot, excuse me, plays a lot of different instruments, woodwinds, guitars, moog, electronic sounds, he, he does it all. And I just love the artwork on this album cover too, which he had something to do with it. Let me just stop there for a moment and talk about uh, something about his music that, that uh, I really enjoy and appreciate. One day last week, I was not in a very good mood. I was kind of in a dark place. So when I hear heard side two of this album, there's a track on here. I'm not sure if it's erotica, uh, agri, agri, ag, See if I said that right. Yang War, one of those has this guitar part that struck a chord in me and it changed my mood. It put me back at peace back in the right frame of mind in order for me to be focused. That's what a lot of his music does. Creates an, creates an atmosphere that I just simply love. I just want to go there. It's like seeing a butterfly just going, bouncing around, uh, taking care of the flowers. I mean, really good album, 2015. You can get his albums on Bandcamp. And I'm sure there's a format that will meet your needs because he sells the MP3s, the CDs, or these great vinyl copies. And uh, let's see here. Do I have? I might have not. Yeah, I'm sorry, folks. But here's the here's the vinyl. It's a really nice blue. So yeah, the Insect Garden. Highly recommended. It. It's up there with other great records. Next was his album that was released. I got this kind of backwards. I wanted to have some kind of chronological order. 2022, Hurdled, Turtled Out of Heaven. Great album. I, I mean, this is another one of those albums. These are the kind of records that inspire me to want to go make music, make sounds. Uh, this is so, so, so good. Uh, all these records that he makes, they have a, from what I understand, some kind of a concept idea. And here is the vinyl. I have this really nice, cool gray of it. Yeah. Now, this one came out in 2021. This is Rats Alley, another good, good, good record. From uh, I have to mention this because I read this on his website about this record. He signed it again on the back. Get ratty. Yeah, I agree. On here is uh, uh, an interp interprets T. S. Eliot's "The Wasteland" on here. And I like this statement here. Hurry up, please. It's time. Check out this album as well, too. You can listen to them on Bandcamp. You might just want to buy the MP3. And this is the color of that of that album, Rats Alley. This is a good one. I think I even... Well, I do. I went ahead and bought this on CD, too. 
And then he sent me this copy, and I really don't remember why he sent me, but I have an extra copy, and I play this one too. This is Rats Alley. He sent this to me. I'm keeping it. Yeah, I played it. It didn't sound great to me. But what was I going to say about that? Uh, I, one thing I do remember that one of the first things I did buy of his um, was the Insect Garden MP3. And you get a little message and he says, thank you. And when I could, I pulled the trigger on one of those Bandcap Friday days and bought a couple of records. I, I, I still plan to add more of his music to my collection. I mean, even if he did an album where it was him and spoken word or something or whatever, playing an instrument, I would buy, I'm going to buy it. That's a, I'm a big fan. Um, then he gifted me and I was like really shocked. This musical genius sent me a record and I want to say thank you for the VCOT. Mr. Dawson sent me a copy of Focus, move. Uh, what is it? Moving waves. It's on music on vinyl, and it's it says Dutch vinyl masters. I love music on vinyl. I have even some of their CDs. They sound wonderful. Here's the back of it right there. You can see. So he gifted that to me, and I thought that was very generous and kind. Folks, I really want to encourage you, if you like music with atmospheres, ambient, mo moog, moog, however you might say that, music that just uh, can give you a good sense, touch those senses in your minds, in your ears, in your eyes, go check out his music. Hope you will, will uh, get pick up some of his music and support him. Thanks again, everybody. And one more time, I got to say thank you, Mr. Dawson, for your music. Talk to you later, folks. If you like this video, hit a like. Oh, I will leave a link to his channel. Take care. Have a good Sunday.